Louise Lennox here and I'm back again with Dr. Utker and in today's video I'll be showing you how to make chocolate butterfly cupcakes. Super easy to make at home with the kids and it keeps them entertained. Start by adding in 110 grams of unsalted butter. You can also use regular butter and if butter stocks are low you can use margarine instead. 100 grams of caster sugar. If you don't have caster sugar at home don't panic you can use granulated sugar or brown sugar, whatever else you can get your hands on really, and then mix this until it's light and fluffy. Now it's time to add in two medium eggs and just add these in gradually. Sieve 75 grams of self-raising flour. Now, if you don't have this, don't panic. You can use plain flour with one level teaspoon of baking powder, or you can make them gluten-free by ditching all the flour and putting in 50 grams of ground almonds, 25 grams of corn flour, and one level teaspoon of Dr. Utker baking powder, because that's gluten-free. Now it's time to make this taste chocolatey. Add in 25 grams of cocoa powder. Three tablespoons is the exact same equivalent. Gently fold in everything together. This is gonna help the cupcake stay really nice, light, and stop them becoming dense and chewy. I've got little cupcake paper cases here. So all you do is get two spoons and divide the mixture evenly between 16 cupcake cases. Bake the cupcakes in a preheated oven, 180 degrees, 160 degrees in a fan and gas mark five. They should take around 15 to 20 minutes. You know what time it is. It is my favorite time. It is time to decorate these humble looking cakes and transform them into beautiful butterflies. So just take a sharp knife and cut a circle out of the top of the cake at an angle and then pop this out and cut it in half. Now, to make this taste even more chocolatey, use 400 grams of chocolate buttercream. If you don't have this at home, don't worry, you can melt 150 grams of milk chocolate, put in two tablespoons of hot water and mix until smooth. Now, all you need to do is put this chocolate cream into the middle of the cake. The two halves that you've already cut into the buttercream and then give it a gentle dusting of icing sugar. I'm gonna show you how to create beautiful butterflies. These are a great project for older kids who have a little bit more patience and a really good way to unlock their inner creativity. Take a piece of baking paper. I've drawn 16 letter Bs. They're around two inches in height. And then just make sure you draw them in reverse and then turn them over and pop them down on a tray. So now to actually turn these Bs into butterflies, you need a piping bag and I'm using a freezer bag for this. Just take some melted chocolate. I've melted down 150 grams of dark chocolate and fill a little freezer bag. The smaller, the better, especially for little hands. Then just smush all the chocolate down into one corner and just make sure all of the air is out as well. Then zip it closed. And then take small scissors and snip off a tiny little end. Keep it really, really small. And do this until all 16 butterflies are filled in. Get a little bit more melted chocolate and then just put it in the middle of the bees and have sprinkles on top. Just pop them back in the fridge and allow the chocolate to set. So to make the little antennae for the butterfly, to draw straight lines and draw a little curve at the top like a J for the antennae. Once the chocolate shapes are set, just put them onto the little bits of cake and stick your two antennae in the middle. This is a great recipe for the kids, so why not try getting the whole family into the kitchen? You can all share a fun and tasty moment together at home. Show us your attempt by posting a picture in the comments section below. So get your kids into the kitchen and start baking.